meaning to our society and our world, and they are what will defeat corruption, fraud, and ignorance. And what, and what Dr. Wallach is getting into here today is the cult-like false science. There's a lot of good stuff if your leg's broken or, you know, you've got a subdermal hematoma. Medical doctors are great. But now even what we know is medical doctors are turning into state-run, computerized people that just do what the death panels tell them. And notice now there's death panels at the VA. All that was real. We know how this works. The rationing, all of it. That's why we better do something here, ladies and gentlemen. We had better get as healthy as we can. And I don't care how unhealthy you are. You're usually not too far gone in my experience. And you can start reversing what's happened. And, and I've done it in my own life. People can see the difference. Um... Uh, I mean, I weigh 277 pounds, and I've gotten down to 220-something. I want to go down to 185 like I used to be. But it's a process, and it's happening, even with my off-the-chart stressful life. Even with only getting to exercise sometimes once or twice a week. I was exercising seven days a week, four or five years ago, trying to lose weight. It wasn't working. I exercise twice a week now. Eat a little bit better. Take the Longevity products, InfoWarsHealth.com. Take the Survival Shield uh, super nascent iodine from the Pure Crystals, uh, the Super Mel Vitality from ForwardsLife.com. It has been so amazing for me, and you've heard the rave reviews, so please, you're also supporting the free speech operation, everything else we do when you visit InfoWarsStore.com, InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsHealth.com. And you can also go to InfoWarsTeam.com. That's the place to go if you want to be a distributor and get discounts from your distributor. It's like $10 to sign up and sign up and get free auto shipping there at InfoWarsTeam.com or InfoWarsLife.com and then get free shipping. You can go there and find the book, uh, Epigenetics, The Death of the Greatest Theory of Disease Transmission. And you can also, when you're a member of InfoWarsHealth.com, go to the speaking events that Dr. Wallach, many of the events that he's at. You're speaking tonight in Dallas. Might be too late for that. I'm told most of these are sold out, but how do folks go to that? Some of them are free events, some of them are paid events. When well, you got a hotel and a dinner, obviously you got to pay for that. Uh, but uh, what's going on in Dallas? Some of the other speaking engagements you're on, and then and I want to give you the floor to really go through the book with people and give them some of the secrets that weren't secrets 100 years ago uh, so we can really fight back against this sickness uh, system uh, where not the doctors, but the, the brain bugs up top, the Rockefeller-run medicine, they know exactly what they're doing. You're exactly right. And of course, the Rockefellers, uh, they go way back to the beginning of 1914 uh, in what was called the Flexner Report. The Rockefellers and the Carnegies paid for a report to be made on all of the various medical schools, about 132 medical schools, and they funded 32 of them because they sold the products that the Carnegies and the Rockefellers sold. And they didn't give any money to the other medical schools, so they just dried up and died. They paid legislators at the federal and the state levels to make medical doctors uh, king, if you will, a protected monopoly, self-policing, and um, they also paid to have all their competition made into third-class citizens who would not be paid by insurance. Because so, competition is a sin, as John D. Rockefeller said. I interrupted, though, with the break. Mm -hmm. Going back, finish up with the uh, machine oils, yes. what we eat. Okay, well, yes, the Crisco started out as a machine oil uh, for the, all these huge factories in Europe and the United States. And um, Procter and Gamble bought it initially to make soap out of it, and, they, and there was resistance from mom and grandma because they were making their own soap. And so they had to figure out that you know we can probably sell more of this stuff, this machine oil, as um, food than we can as soap. And so they began to sell it as food. They got resistance again because grandma and mom had been using uh, lard and cream and butter for centuries. And so they got Ansel Keys, who's another Nazi sympathizer, who was on the board of um, uh, the American Heart Association. And of course, the Nazis on record, they weren't going to just conquer the whole world militarily. Uh, and I've got to dig out these documents. It's in some documentaries I saw a long time ago and read about as well. They were going to take over with soft kill where they adulterated the food and water. They put fluoride in to slowly weaken the population they were in control of. They wanted a stealth kill. And, and, and in one Nazi document, they described it like, you know, if you wanted to get rid of wild dogs, you would just poison their water hole. And then they'll never know because it's a slow kill, flavorless uh, poison that they were recommending. And, and, and so that's why. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, no, no. That's it's all good stuff, Alex. You're right on target. And um, that's why everybody loves you. <laughs> no, no. Continue, though. Okay. It's just they're so diabolical. 
Now, that's the right word. That's the right word. And so Procter & Gamble said, we can't sell it as um, uh, soap. We can't sell it uh, as a machine oil anymore because the main original guys who made it were selling it faster than they could. And so we're going to sell it as food. And they couldn't, they were getting resistance. And so this Ansel Keys, who was on the board of the American Heart Association and on the board of Procter & Gamble, um, he says, well, let's sell it, uh, let's sell it as um, uh, a replacement for animal fats. And they came up with an advertising scheme to replace uh, cream and butter and lard with this Crisco, which was a machine oil. Uh, and um, they did. They did it very well. They gave $1.7 million to the American Heart Association. This is part of their written history. They cannot deny it. And they endorsed Crisco as a healthy replacement for uh, animal fats like lard and cream and butter for cooking. And as a result, they have killed more Americans and more Europeans than the Nazis ever thought of doing because of heart disease caused by these oils. In fact, I've seen some doctors and people looking at the statisticians, they believe that these type of false artificial garbage fats that replaced animal fat uh, and, 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 and natural plant fats may have killed more than cigarettes. Oh, absolutely. No doubt about it. We're talking about hundreds of millions of people. Um, in, in just by mistakes in offices right now, Medical doctors in America kill, injure, and infect 15 million Americans every year in their offices. We had an article of, uh, a few years ago that we wrote because it was right there on their site where even the uh, Centers for Disease Control lists doctors killing people as the number three cause of death in the country. It's actually accidents by doctors. There's number yeah, three. Yeah. Doctors are number one. Just yeah. proactively what they do. They killed Andy Rooney. They killed Dick Clark. They killed Neil Armstrong. And they get a walk. Uh, they kill these very famous people, very high-profile people. How, who kills our top astronaut and gets a walk? If Al-Qaeda would have done that, we'd have sent over drones and blown up baby food factories or something. And here, here the doctor kills Neil Armstrong, our top astronaut, first guy on the moon, saved two doomed NASA missions. The doctor gets a walk. He creeps off into the dark, um, just like all these doctors who are taking care of these people. Who's Neil Armstrong? Justin Bieber. I mean, people know who Justin Bieber is. They don't know who Neil Armstrong is. They don't know who our top astronaut, Neil Armstrong? I'm telling you. First man to walk. Young people do not know. Oh, my gosh. I'd say 30s and unders, the, the, literally, the, they know how to wear different colored socks and act trendy. Oh, my gosh. Well, we're in trouble. Well, that was the one. Well, there are a lot of young people that are either waking up or they aren't. I want to be clear. Okay. Some of the most awake are young people, but there's also trendies. As long as they just say they're trendy and love Obama, everything's fine. Because mm. they think he's a liberal. Okay. <laughs> I think you're a liberal. Me? Well, by I mean, in the Thomas Jefferson vein of freedom and truth oh. and justice and choice. Oh, yeah. Everything. You're pro-Second Amendment, aren't you? Oh, yes, sir. You're pro-national sovereignty? Absolutely. You're pro-medical rights? Yes, sir. I was a lieutenant colonel in the military, sir. Um, I know that, but I'm saying. Exactly. So I would call you a classical liberal. I'm just saying the terms don't mean... Like, like a liberal today, how is it liberal to say that your kids belong to the state? That doesn't sound liberal to me. Mm. Well, okay. Well, I want to go on to one more thing there. Um, the, the theory that vegetable oils were healthier for you than animal Yes, let's get into it. It was actually the thing that has killed more people than all the Nazis ever thought of. More than any cigarettes. And, of course, doctors just keep plotting on, even though the FDA came out in uh, February of 2012, said get people off of cholesterol-lowering drugs, get their cholesterol back up, uh, cholesterol-lowering uh, drugs uh, increase your risk of Alzheimer's disease by 100%, type 2 diabetes by 52%. Get them off of statin drugs and doctors still give them. Well, the next theory that failed um, was the theory that um, uh, prions cause mad cow disease and Chrysler Jacobs disease. They've never been able to um, have that uh, proven and, and transmitted so they never were able to transmit the disease by taking brains of somebody who died. What is it really? Yeah, it's a mystery. It, it's a copper deficiency. Yeah. We actually knew that in 1865. It was a copper deficiency in sheep called enzootic ataxia. When you look at the brain under the microscope of a sheep with enzootic ataxia, it's mad cow disease, it's Creutzfeldt Jacobs disease in people. It's all caused by... Uh, That's right. They just make up a misdiagnosis and make up a new term. Exactly. And then came the genetics thing. Everything is caused by genetics. We spent trillions of dollars mapping out the human genome. 28 countries were involved. 60 years. The genome was published in 2003. And in March of uh, 2013, the uh, Salk Institute invites James Watson, the guy who got the Nobel Prize for the double helix, 
That's who right. also likes Hitler. Yeah, well, he, he is a eugenics guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he wants to use eugenics to make the master race. He says black people aren't humans. Well, he's the master race guy. Right. But he's loved by the liberal, uh, the fake the liberals. The fake liberals. Yes. Okay. Well, they ask him, okay, what diseases are going to be cured now? You've gone 60 years. You've mapped out the human genome. There has not been a single disease that's been cured or prevented with genetics. Which one are there? And he gets up in front of this illustrious crowd of Nobel Prize winners and heads of departments of uh, genetics in medical schools. And he says, all the experiments we've done over the last 60 years are irrelevant. We're not going to cure cancer, diabetes, or any other diseases by sequencing genes and coming up with uh, genetically engineered genes. It's not going to happen because none of it's genetic. It's all uh, what he called chemistry, biochemistry, a.k.a. nutrition. And all the reporters ran out of the room. They called their editors. Their editors talked to the medical schools. The medical said, oh, he's an old man. We got 850 genetic screens. And by the way, here I am discrediting him. He, he, he did get the Watson Trust, another family, the IBM folks, to fund him. They funded the, mm -hmm. the Nazi machines, all of it. I mean, he is a big eugenic.